Hey guys, Brian here, and today I'm going to do a one year recap review of my Voodoo Tactical Short Range Pack. Uh, essentially, I got this in April 2014 and used it just about every weekend on my hiking trips, beach time, range time, um, off roading time, and basically, whenever I needed a pack, this was my go to pack. I would change out things accordingly, you know, I wouldn't bring my Gerber uh, downrange to the beach or anything like that, but for hiking, yes. So let me go over, I guess, the pros and cons of this. Um, this is everything I found over the last year and what I found wrong with it and what I like with it. Okay, first off, the big con, I had a small rip. I don't know what happened. Um, I do a lot of hiking. Could have been caught on a branch or could have, who knows. But it is fixable. So that's not a big issue, but that's the only tear I've encountered. So, and that's on the molly right here. I'll get a close-up. Um, other than that, there's no tearing on the bottom. You know, when I drag it around or just leave it on the ground. So that's another bonus. So, the stitching is very well made. It's not, it's not going to fall apart on you. I've used this a lot. Um, I'm going to put all the videos and pictures and stuff on this side so you can see what I'm talking about and you can see how I constantly use this. So that will show you this is a pretty good pack. Okay, another con would be more of a learning curve, I guess. Um, when I first got this, since it has the one large compartment on the inside, at first I kind of thought to myself, hey, this doesn't hold a lot. But then I actually realized you have to pack correctly. Um, a good example was the first Muslim West game. I'll put the picture here. You know, I have this plus a uh, a rucksack and I'm like cool I have everything but then once I learned how to pack correctly for what I needed for that weekend I was able to utilize this pack for basically the whole weekend for the following Milson West game and here's another picture here and I kind of learned so first you might think hey this doesn't hold everything but remember it's a short range tactical pack that means it's like for a weekend at the max or a day ready to go short range, not three day plus, not weekend excursion, duffel bag thing. So if you're looking for a focus pack, like I've been using it for, it should be great for you. So those are the only cons, I guess. Um, other than that, there's nothing really bad about it. Um, I do like the molly to attach things on here. The molly on the sides and on the sides as well. And just the stomach, belt system and the back system. As you can see, you still have that metal frame and it supports everything. Oh no, there's a small rip in the, the net right there. Darn. Um, other than that, the pros. The fact that you can hike with this all day. Oh, there's a little one there. Okay, that's fine. The fact that you can hike with this all day and not have your back get sopping wet that really bugs me for other packs. This, you have basically this metal mesh, and then you have this room here for your hand or this airflow, as you can see. And then you're gonna also have this nice, super comfy lower back support, so it fits right there. As long as you have this uh, straps adjusted just right and it's riding on you, and it's not like too low sagging, no problems. You can hike with this all day, you know. Uh, my first video review, I hiked literally six hours up the top of the balding and then down. I was using this all day, eight hours, no problems. Uh, I've used this in Las Vegas, over on the Mary Jane Trails, Oregon, Washington. I use this all the time for hiking, so it's a great pack. Okay, let me go over some of the stuff you guys are probably wondering, like, why I have this. Okay, first off, I have my Gerber Tomahawk, um, I have it attached, um, woven into the molly on the belt, so it's basically right hand is a quick draw. Um, this is a good tomahawk. I'm a fan of it. It's very pricey, but for what it does, I like the crowbar aspect. I had some um, paracord on here, and it's um, good enough to make my walking sticks and other things, and it's a great all-around tool. So, I have that on that side. Then I have uh, a glow stick 
in case I get out there. I've done some night hiking, so glow sticks do come in handy. Or if I take this to like a Muslim West event, um, you know, glow sticks, you always need those. Okay, and then I read Kilreg, an Echo One Kilreg. Um, not really product placement, it's more for like if you need a headband, like if you're hiking and it's super sunny, you don't want to burn your forehead. Or if it's super hot and you want to burn your neck, you can wrap that on there, good to go. Um, a little carabiner clip for tape. You always need tape for uh, example at the range. Um, everybody has mag pull mags. Put a strip of tape on there so you know it's yours and good to go. Okay, on this section, I basically have my essentials. I always keep it in here. I have a poncho. I have bug spray, super deep max. Mmm, tastes so good. Then I have a first aid kit with some extra goodies in there I put in there. Snake bite kit. Uh, in California, always come across rattlesnakes. Use this in case. Use this if you get too close. So far, I haven't knocked on wood. So far, I haven't had to save anybody, but just in case, kind of like that whole den mother aspect. Okay, more glow sticks, a life straw, another glow stick, and then some lighters, some flint, and some tums. Oh, and then sunblock for my fair skin. So that's the stuff I always keep in this compartment all the time, so that will be fine for range time, beach time, whatever, I just leave it in there. Okay, this pack, I have my uh, wrist light. It's pretty cool, it's super bright. Again, for night hikes or most of the west things, just leave it in there. Extra food, little mini binoculars, Gerber multi-tool, comes in handy. It's not that heavy and it's shiny and matches. Okay, so that's basically the stuff I keep in at all times. And then if I'm gonna go hiking or whatnot, I will have extra water, food, and whatnot. But that's, I guess, the default loadout for my pack for those compartments. For the top one, I usually have extra batteries used for my hearing protection, another flashlight, and a GPS. What else do I have? Um, mouthwash, and aspirin. Okay. And then on this side, I will have a carabiner and more uh, red rags, just for you know, forehead protection and neck protection. Oh, another cool feature about this, uh, when I was hiking up on Mount Pilichek in Washington, it was super rainy, we are basically hiking up through the clouds, so at first it's dry and sunny, and then all of a sudden it's just damp, and basically it's a wet cloud. So a cool feature, which I've seen, no one really talks about this, is you have basically a you can do that. You basically have a rainproof, water-resistant rack for your backpack. And I was able to hike up without getting my stuff wet, so we did have an extra GoPro in there. You don't want to get that wet. You know, it worked out great. And then when it wasn't wet, I'll take it off real quick. Fold it up and you're done. So it's a lot of cool features in this backpack. Okay, now for the inside. As I was saying, it's one large compartment. Yes. Once you understand how to pack accordingly, then it's a great pack. Um, I have another inner pack, or inner pocket per se, and I just have kind of redundant stuff, you know, that I will need. Most of the times I forget, so I have it just in there. Um, you know, uh, fire energy, chapstick, um, sunblock, you know, the essential stuff. Nothing too crazy, but just there. And some matches. I always have to have matches. Okay, on the inside, this large compartment right here, I usually have my cowback, and it's cool is you have a hole through here and through here, so you can run your cowback coats through there. And it's nice because it's one in a lot water resistant like sack, and two, it's not going to interfere with all your other stuff. So you put your, your cowback there, and you're good to go. Also, I have large zip ties, so you have these little clips here. Um, 
haven't really found a use for them really, but you know, if you want to put keys on here, but it might jingle and might bug you, I don't. But I have extra pair of cords so I can attach it just on there. Zip ties, of course, um, for securing things. And on the inside, I will have just spare water and Voodoo Tactical hat, of course, and just random stuff in the bottom. So if I need to go here or here or here, I will fill it up as needed and I'm good to go. So on the front belt system, it clips in like this and I will have my Benchmade fixed blade, um, mostly to look like Rambo, but at the end of the day, I use it just for cutting cheese when I'm making sandwiches up on top of the mountain. It's cool, um, but yes, it's kind of redundant. I just like it because it matches too. So that is, I guess, the quick review of, or quick review and overview of my Voodoo Tactical Short Range Pack. Oh, another cool feature, um, the side clips, like so. You could easily attach like a jacket. So instead of like if you're wearing a jacket and you're hiking and you don't have room inside, you can attach your jacket on the outside. Um, you shouldn't see pictures. And you can carry whatever you want. And you have both. It's like basically like a uh, pontoon style, but just uh, more options. So with that being said, uh, this is Brian from Team Black Sheep. I'll go ahead and check out the links below for the, the pack itself if you want to buy this. It's usually around 100 hundred so bucks. It's a good deal for what it does. So check it out and then also check out the other videos um, I, I would mention in this video to see me hiking here and there and doing all this stuff. So go ahead and make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you guys on the trail. Bye.